Hi, I'm David Tillman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of iodine. This is an update to the video I published on iodine back in 2017. Now this is an important update because I've since found that the dosage for iodine that I recommended back then is far too high based on the latest clinical evidence. In this video, I'll tell you what iodine is, where it comes from in our food supply, and why most of us need supplemental iodine. I'll share with you some clinical studies demonstrating the nootropic benefits of iodine. I'll tell you how much to use, any potential side effects, including what happens when you're de iodine deficient, and the best types of iodine to buy. So what makes this video different from other videos you may have already seen on iodine? Well, this video explains the nootropic benefits of iodine for brain health and optimization and why you may need to add it to your nootropic stack. Sound good? Now before we get started, please hit the subscribe button for my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps YouTube to know to suggest this channel to someone else who may need this information too. And hit the share button so that others can learn about iodine and how it may help deal with their brain health issues. And one more thing before we get deeper into the nootropic benefits of iodine. If you're feeling frustrated and overwhelmed trying to figure out which nootropic supplements that you should be using for the brain health issues that you're dealing with, consider getting professional help. Spend an hour with me and I'll help get you back on track. To schedule a consultation with me, look for the link to my calendar down below in the notes section below this video. Or click on the link above if there's one up there. And let's start working together. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about iodine. Let's get started. Iodine is an essential trace element that combines with the amino acid tyrosine to form thyroid hormones, T4 and T3. T4 contains four iodine atoms and T3 contains three iodine atoms. Iodine deficiency is recognized as the most common cause of preventable brain damage in the world. Even moderate deficiency results in a loss of at least 10 to 15 IQ points. And the reason I've added iodine to our list of essential nootropics. Insufficient iodine is not only a problem in developing countries. Studies have found, even in Western countries, iodine deficiency has become a critical health problem. Your thyroid gland absorbs iodine from your blood supply to make and release thyroid hormone. Your thyroid affects every cell in your body and brain through the hormones T4 and T3. Within your brain, T4 is converted to T3 by selenium, which is then affects gene expression, controlling metabolism within cells, and activates the catecholamines, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Malfunctioning thyroid function, which is often caused by insufficient iodine, results in poor cognition, difficulty learning, problems with recall, depression, and anxiety. The most abundant source of iodine in our diet comes from seafood like kelp, saltwater fish, seal meat, whale meat, oysters, mussels, and lobster. Iodine is also found in beans, milk, and milk products. Eggs, spinach, and vegetables grown in or produced from soil rich in iodine, typically found near coastal areas of the world. The most seriously iodine deficient parts of the world are mountainous and inland areas, including much of the agricultural producing areas of western countries like Australia, Canada, the USA, and Europe. Iodine is absorbed by your thyroid gland for the production of thyroid hormones. The pituitary gland in your brain releases thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH, instructing your thyroid to release T4 and then T3. T4 and T3 are produced by combining tyrosine with iodine and released into your bloodstream. Thyroid transport proteins then carry the hormones to target cells all over your body, including your brain. Nearly all of your body's functions and nearly every tissue rely on thyroid hormones. Their actions and influence are so wide-ranging that you cannot live without them. Thyroid hormones affect brain development, heart rate, lung function, blood function, bone growth, steroid hormone production, including the breakdown of sugar, fat, and protein, and even some immune processes. Iodine is even involved in how the other nootropics in your stack are utilized by cells in your brain. The bottom line is iodine could be one of the most important additions to any nootropic stack.
Iodine boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, iodine is critical for neurotransmitters. Iodine is required for the production of thyroid hormones T4 and T3. Thyroid hormone receptors in the brain help regulate the production and use of all important neurotransmitters. Not enough iodine results in too little T3 and T4 in your body. Symptoms of inadequate thyroid hormones, in other words, hypothyroidism, include insomnia, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, depression, dry skin and hair, cold sensitivity, frequent and heavy periods for women, and joint and muscle pain. And the second way that iodine works in your brain is required for a healthy immune system. Iodine is antibacterial, antiparasitic, antiviral, and has anti-cancer properties. Your thyroid is the main storage site for iodine. But this mineral is also concentrated in the glandular system, including your salivary and sweat glands. Ovaries, breasts, pancreas, cerebral, spinal fluid, skin, stomach, prostate, and your brain all contain high concentrations of iodine. Iodine is a powerful method for removing heavy metals and halides like fluoride, chlorine, and bromine from your system. These chemicals compete for the same thyroid receptors in cells used by thyroid hormones. So removing these toxins will help thyroid hormones do their job of gene expression and metabolism. Iodine is needed by the thyroid to produce the thyroid hormones T4 and T3. Part of the endocrine system, the thyroid secretes hormones that enter your circulatory system and are transported throughout your body. Every cell has receptor sites for thyroid hormones. Neurotransmitters are used by neurons to communicate with one another. The presynaptic neuron releases a neurotransmitter which then binds to a receptor on the postsynaptic cell. Here we're going to explore how neurotransmitters relate to the endocrine system and thyroid health and what can go wrong. Thyroid hormones are involved in the gene expression needed for neurotransmitter release. Low levels of iodine results in low levels of thyroid hormones which results in low neurotransmitter levels. Several studies have shown that low T3 results in reduced levels of serotonin in your brain. If you don't respond to SSRIs for depression, it could be due to a thyroid hormone imbalance. The result is depression. In animals and humans, there is a direct link between thyroid levels and GABA. Thyroid hormones affect enzymes responsible for synthesis and degradation of GABA, low levels of glutamate and GABA, GABA release and reuptake, and GABA-A receptor expression and function. GABA is your brain's natural valium. GABA can help turn off stress after you get upset or even prevent a stress response in the first place. Low iodine results in low levels of thyroid hormones affecting GABA, which can lead to depression or anxiety. Thyroid hormones play a role in dopamine release in your brain. One study showed that an imbalance between thyroid hormones and dopamine could be responsible for restless leg syndrome. Thyrotropin releasing hormone, or TRH, increases acetylcholine synthesis. One study showed that those with hypothyroidism had significantly decreased acetylcholine in the hippocampus, and the administration of T4 normalized acetylcholine levels. Insufficient iodine can result in hypothyroidism and negatively affect acetylcholine synthesis in your brain, affecting cognition, learning and memory, recall, and mood. Not enough iodine in your diet negatively affects neurotransmitters in your brain and can result in depression, brain fog, anxiety, learning and memory problems, and ultimately lead to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Most neurohackers associate iodine with the thyroid because iodine is needed to produce thyroid hormones T4 and T3. But iodine is also concentrated in your salivary glands, stomach, breasts, ovaries, eyes, and in your brain. Deficiency in iodine in any tissue will cause problems in any area of your body and weaken your immune system. Symptoms of low iodine show up as brain fog, skin problems, fibroids, fibromyalgia, and chronic fatigue. Iodine can kill bacteria, fungal infections, and viruses. Iodine will remove fluoride, chlorine, and bromine, and helps your body detox heavy metals like mercury and cadmium that other detox methods can't remove. Iodine helps prevent and even reverses breast cancer, and helps prevent mental retardation in young children. 
Your brain needs sufficient iodine for cognition through several mechanisms of action. This essential element is involved in gene expression that controls the synthesis of neurotransmitters in your brain and how they work. Iodine helps remove fluoride throughout your body, including your brain. Studies show that fluoride can damage your brain, reduce intelligence, and impair memory. Fluoride has even been associated with dementia, according to a study by the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. One recent study showed that water fluoridation in England is linked to higher rates of underactive thyroid. One of the simplest things that you can do to boost cognition and your thyroid is to stop using fluoridated water and toothpaste and start supplementing with iodine to remove fluoride toxicity and boost thyroid health. Iodine deficiency disorders are considered one of the biggest worldwide public health problems today. Studies around the world show that none of us are immune from iodine deficiency. Estimates range anywhere from 10% to 90% of the world population don't get sufficient iodine depending on where you live. Adding iodine to your stack if you are deficient is one of the easiest and least expensive ways to prevent and even cure a host of health problems, including boosting cognition and memory. Many neurohackers report an increased level of focus, energy, memory, and cognitive ability when supplementing with iodine. You should also experience improved quality of sleep and have an overall improvement in mood. Others report a profound difference in energy levels. They are more alert and fatigue in the afternoon disappears. A few even report a significant improvement in tinnitus. One of the most common reasons we use nootropics is to boost memory and mental energy. Memory loss drastically reduces quality of life, and simple brain fog makes it difficult to accomplish the simplest of tasks. Research has shown that iodine is involved in memory and learning and cognition on several levels, and supplementing with iodine is one of the most fundamental things you can do to boost cognition. The world's greatest concentration of iodine-deficient countries in the 1990s was the former Soviet republics of Central Asia. Worldwide, nearly 2 billion people, or up to a third of the world population, gets too little iodine. Studies show that iodine deficiency is the leading preventable cause of mental disorders. Even moderate deficiency lowers intelligence by 10 to 15 IQ points. The most visible and severe effects manifest as goiters, dwarfism, and cretinism. Have you ever heard someone use the derogatory term cretin to describe someone with low intelligence? That's what it is. Cretin describes a child born and raised with severe mental disabilities, small stature and weakness, all due to not enough iodine in the mother's diet when she was pregnant. In Japan, people get iodine from seafood, seaweed, vegetables grown in iodine-rich soil, or animals that eat grass grown in that soil. But even in wealthy nations like the USA and the UK, people still need to supplement, usually by using iodized salt or adding it to their stack as a supplement. According to Gerald Burrow, a former dean of Yale's medical school, for five cents per person per year, you can make the whole population smarter than before, simply by adding iodine to the salt supply. Back in the old Soviet Republic, Kazakh children were stunted compared to the same age Russian children. A survey of 5,000 households in 1996 found that 10% of the children were stunted, and iodine deficiency was identified as the main culprit. In Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, campaigns were run promoting iodized salt. Salt companies were persuaded to add iodine to salt before putting it in stores. In Kazakhstan, in 1999, only 29% of households were using iodized salt. Now, 94% of households are. And in 2007, the United Nations certified the country officially free of iodine deficiency disorders. In raising the world's IQ, the secret's in the salt. A 10-year study conducted in Italy investigated children born to 16 women from an iodine deficient area, Area A and 11 control women in an iodine-sufficient area we'll call Area B. 
ADHD was diagnosed in 11 of the 16 children born in Area A, but in none in Area B. Total IQ score was nearly 20 points lower in Area A children compared to Area B. The researchers noted that the prevalence of ADHD in children born in Area A could only be compared to similar children with a resistance to thyroid hormones and that iodine deficiency was the likely cause of ADHD due to a critical reduction in intracellular thyroid hormone T3 available to the developing brain. The recommended iodine dosage is very difficult because everyone needs different amounts based on your body's ability to use iodine and the level of exposure you have to daily toxins like fluoride, chlorine, and other halides. If you are dealing with a severe health problem, then your dosages would need to be higher than someone trying to maintain good health. Maintenance and for optimal cognition, natural health doctors have been recommending up to 50 milligrams of iodine per day but I've since revised my recommendations based on the latest research and potential health problems caused by iodine toxicity. The maximum adult dosage for adults is up to one milligram of iodine per day. The recommended maintenance dosage is the same. And for cancer, cancer is a result of mutated cells. Iodine is critical for the P53 gene, which prevents damaged cells from dividing. Iodine and selenium helps P53 do its job of eliminating abnormal cells. Cancer patients have used 50 to 300 milligrams of iodine per day successfully. Supporting supplements to take with iodine includes selenium, 200 micrograms per day. Selenium is required for the production of T3 and assists in detox. Vitamin C, 2,000 to 5,000 milligrams per day, helps support thyroid symporters, which transport thyroid hormones throughout your body, including across the blood-brain barrier, and assists in detox. And magnesium, 400 milligrams a day. See my video on magnesium as a nootropic. Iodine is fat-soluble and should be taken with food, particularly if you have a sensitive stomach. The supporting supplements can be taken at the same time as your iodine dose. Iodine should be taken early in the day because it can increase energy levels so much that you could have problems sleeping. Most forms of iodine can cause diarrhea and bloating, particularly at higher doses. Those with a sensitive stomach could experience stomach pain and is the reason why I suggest taking iodine with food. It is also possible to overdose on iodine, so please start at a lower dose and see how your body reacts. Symptoms of iodine overdose include abdominal pain, delirium, fever, vomiting, and shortness of breath. Iodine is a powerful method for removing toxins and heavy metals from your body, which can also produce unpleasant effects. If you experience flu-like symptoms when you start iodine, it's very likely that you're feeling the effects of toxins being flushed out of your cells and out of your body. For more on iodine toxicity, please read the article titled Consequences of Excess Iodine, written by Angela Lung and Louis Braverman at the David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. I've included a link to this study down below in the notes section below this video. Iodine is sold in many forms, but the main thing to look for, does the product contain both iodine and iodide? Your body needs both forms. Breasts look for iodine, and your thyroid needs iodide. Contrary to some sources, your body cannot convert supplemental iodine to iodide. Also important is to understand and recognize the difference between milligram doses and versus microgram doses. Microgram doses is how most mainstream as well as integrative health practitioners recommend iodine dosage. I highly recommend Performance Lab the Neutrogenesis Iodine, which is pure and produced using Neutrogenesis technology, which is a highly bioavailable form of iodine. I've included a link to this iodine down below in the notes section below this video. Other options to consider, Lugol's liquid, iodine slash potassium iodide, 2% and 5% solutions. 2% solution is 2.5 milligrams per drop, and 5% solution is 6.25 milligrams per drop. Iodorol is Lugol's formula in pill form, iodine slash potassium iodide, 12.5 milligrams and 50 milligrams. Biotics research, iodizyme. 12.5 12.5 milligrams per tablet of iodine slash iodide. And tri-iodine by Vitamin Life 
is 12.5 milligrams per tablet of iodine slash iodide. Nascent iodine, which is iodine in its atomic state and is a very low dose, not enough to detox heavy metals, fluoride, bromine, and chloride, or to saturate tissues. Iosol, which is iodine only, and micro doses have the same issues as nascent iodine. Prolamine, which has 3 milligrams of iodine and 20 milligrams of calcium, which is too low to detox the body and saturate tissues. Pure encapsulations, solar ray, source naturals, progressive labs, and now foods all offer microgram doses of iodide only. Kelp because of low iodine status, not being able to determine levels of iodine and possibly toxic due to arsenic and halides. So that's my updated report on iodine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to my website, nootropicsexpert.com, and search for iodine or click on the link below down in the notes section below this video. Once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on my website, Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. And please get a copy of my four-time award-winning book, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Links to both books are down below in the notes section of this video. I also do consultations. So if you need some help with your stack, you'll find a link to my calendar below down in the notes section under this video. And thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, the author of Nootropics Expert.